brown pen? That might sound like a stupid question, but there's more to the colour of ink than you might think. Today we're going to separate the colours in ink using chromatography. Chrome means colour, and scientists use chromatography to separate mixtures so they can see what things they're made of. I've experimented using chromatography with my favourite brown writing pen, and I can see that even though it's brown, it's got purple, orange, yellow and green ink in it. Can you think of anything you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. Now we've got a mystery to solve. My favourite mug has been stolen and I've received this note. To get your mug back, leave five pounds under the mat. Now I know my mug was stolen either by my dad, my mum or my brother because they're the only people in the house. And we're going to solve the mystery by comparing how the ink from the note separates with how the ink from the pen separate. So we're going to put a dot of ink on a strip of kitchen roll from each of the pens. And then we're going to hang it on this frame. Now this frame is made from two yogurt pots with a ruler on the top and it's got a dish of water underneath. Now I'm going to attach my strips of paper to the frame using sticky tack and I'm going to attach them so that the water hits the bottom of the paper but doesn't reach the ink. And when I've done this, I will wait. I've waited 10 minutes and I can see now that the ink has separated and moved up the kitchen roll. By looking at the colours, I can see that the ink in the note matches the ink in my brother's pen, so I know it must have been him who stole my mug. We've used chromatography to solve this crime. What questions do you have? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these questions. I'm going to try some different coloured pens now. I wonder what you'll choose to find out about today. Don't forget to tell someone what you found out. Bye.